So, hi everyone. So, I'm here to share some stories. Some nice, fun stories. And I like to call them What the Fun Vex. So, this is me and this is Mikey. And Mikey usually comes up with nice questions or more like doubts. And then I like to sort of answer them. So, let's see what's the question Mikey has got for me today. Oh, so he asks, can we measure speed of light at home? Oh, can we? Yeah, I think I. So, I'd say we do, and we can measure it using microwave and it's October. And then, my case is but how? So, it's very simple. You know what a microwave is? So, microwave is something which produces light. Uh, you might be confused like light, heat, or what? So, what microwave does is like. It produces electromagnetic radiation inside it, so there are like waves inside it. These are all electromagnetic waves. So, electromagnetic waves are nothing but... So, electromagnetic waves are light. So, speed of light is same as speed of any electromagnetic wave. So, if I find speed of this wave, then I can find this. But, does that mean I have to measure the time from here to here and all that no no let's see and oh and my gears of what chocolate milk so so i say that wow we have the great formula c speed is equal to lambda into f and then my kid says huh so and then i went back and i said okay look back at the Look back at the microwave's backside. You would find that frequency of the waves in it is equal to 2.45 gigahertz. So now that we have the frequency, all we have to find is all we have to find is if you look at here, lambda. So how do we find lambda? That's the whole question. So let's go. See, inside a microwave, whenever there are uh, radiations, you'll see that. So what happens is any wave, if you try to constrict into a region, they form something called standing waves. So these are standing waves. So basically, they're waves that stand. And when waves stand, they form something called anti-nodes and nodes. So these are nodes. So nodes are the cool points. There would be no heat over here. But then there are anti nodes, which are the bigger parts. So here is where the displacement is more. And at the anti nodes, we get more heat. So these are called hot spots. And then I tell this to Mikey, and I ask Mikey to set the keep a chocolate bar inside a microwave and stop it from rotating. So no rotation. And once there is no rotation, and then I ask him to set the timer for 10 seconds and Mikey waits with hunger you see he likes chocolates and you would notice that wherever there are hot spots there would be little melting so within 10 seconds there would be little melting over here and then so once it melts all you have to do is take it out and then measure the distance so Mikey has a scale here he measures the distance from here to here and let's say we, this is L so once the measuring is done, we know that gap is equal to L by 2. Why? Because for a standing wave, if you look over here, so this blue color is a standing wave. So what does a standing wave do? So it has wavelengths from here to here. This is full lambda. And all we need is distance from here to here, which is lambda by 2. So lambda by 2 is L and then Okay, Mikey says he measures L equal to 6 centimeters. I just plug it in and I get lambda is equal to 2 into 6 centimeters, which is 12 centimeters. And we have to make sure that the units are right, so 0 0.12 meters. Okay, so now I got the lambda value. All I have to do is plug it back into my formula. And in my formula, I get C is equal to lambda into F, which is 0 0.12 into 2.45 into 10 power 9 which is roughly 2.9 into 10 power 8. So I got my speed of light as, so speed of light 
value as I calculate is 2.95 into 10 power 8 but you know what the actual value of speed of light is 3 into 10 power 8 which is not that far right it's pretty close so see we could measure speed of light just in a kitchen and Mikey is happy but then Mikey asks so he keeps on asking you know right now we got lucky because we, we know the f value from the back of the microwave oven but what if we don't know the frequency value oh, how do i measure speed of light so we'll get to that in my next video for now i hope you understand how to find uh, speed of light using a microwave oven